Welcome to the Brain Bank Listen and Learn series. I'm Michelle Paulina. Today we're discussing safe cable pulling practices, and with me by phone is Jim Isley, who is product manager at Greenlee. Jim, thank you for being with us today. Thanks for uh, inviting me uh, to talk about uh, cable pulling safety, which is uh, important to all of us. While it sounds pretty simple to just pull cable, I assume there's a lot to doing it safely and properly. Certainly there is. Um, uh, and most important, uh, of course, is the setup so that that's done in a safe manner, uh, but also uh, the equipment used to pull the cable. And uh, you also want to make sure that uh, you don't damage the cable during the cable pull. As we discuss pulling practices, we're talking about both people's safety as well as maintaining the integrity of the cable itself. Can you comment on these? Well, uh, pulling safety is, you know, made up of, of a number of factors. Uh, certainly the uh, cable puller itself, but the connection to the cable, the rope, and the setup of uh, various uh, accessories uh, in order to uh, make the cable pull are all extremely important in making sure that the, the pull is safe. Uh, in terms of, uh, of not damaging the cable, minimizing the number of bends, and minimizing the uh, total cable pulling force required uh, are important. From a safety point of view, I suspect that proper clothing and equipment is of utmost importance here. Well, using the right equipment is um, a, a key. Uh, the the cable pulling rope needs to be rated for the maximum cable pulling force of the cable puller, and shivs and adapters need to be set up in an, a manner according to the instruction manuals that come with them, uh, so that uh, nothing gets damaged during the cable pull, and that uh, there are no uh, loose pieces that occur during the cable pull. So in terms of the cable, we're talking about factors that keep from damaging the cable, such as correctly sizing the bends, correct? Yes, and, and most of the, that is uh, specified by the uh, engineering firm that uh, does the job. Uh, but using uh, proper lubrication, uh, connecting the cable to the pulling rope is, is also important so that you don't uh, create additional uh, force requirements. Isn't the cable's position within the conduit an important factor as well? What about pulling tension? You really can't control the, uh, to, to any great degree the position of the cables going through a conduit. The code does say that uh, 360 degrees are the maximum amount of bend that a cable pull should be done through, and they require a junction box in the middle of a run uh, if the number of bends exceeds that 360 degrees. Besides the obvious safety concerns, can you talk about the expense of not doing it right? I'm thinking of things like loss of manpower or even having to rip out damaged cable and start over. Oh, sure. If the connection between the cable and the rope uh, breaks or something gets damaged in the cable, trying to get cable out is much harder than trying to pull it in. And uh, it's extremely expensive because you, you've uh, just wasted a lot of cable. So that's why it's important that you try to minimize the cable pulling force by using cable lube, uh, that the connection between the cable and the rope is, is very secure, and the rope is sized for the cable puller. Jim, since cable pulling is a big part of Greenlee's business, can you tell me how Greenlee addresses these concerns? Well, we try to address it in um, several ways. One is we try to provide uh, clear instructions in our instruction manuals for how to use and set up cable pullers. Uh, we try to uh, be a leader in providing uh, safe cable pullers. And uh, an example of this is uh, all of our cable pullers have a right angle shiv so that the operator never has to stand in line with the cable that's being pulled. So if something should happen to the puller or to the rope or to the connection between the rope, uh, the operator is out of the line of fire, so to speak. Uh, we also, uh, on uh, not a, uh, a real regular basis, but we provide 
safety bulletins on cable pulling to our end user customers. Is selecting the right products for the job difficult? Um, not generally, uh, although each cable pull is unique in its setup because where the cable is going to enter the, the conduit and where it's going to exit the conduit, are, are they're always different. So the accessories that are needed and the way the cable puller is set up and the way things are set up on the feeding end are always unique. And a contractor needs to be aware of that and make sure that they've considered what could happen if, if something goes wrong. By way of summary, would you like to add anything to what we've discussed? Well, I think the only thing I would really like to emphasize is that we see a lot of cable pulls where people are using shivs and other accessories attached to building parts that just don't have the capability of withstanding the force of the cable pull. And uh, electricians and contractors should follow instruction manuals for these items to make sure that they're attaching them to a structure that's going to withstand the force of the cable pull. Jim, where can our viewers get more information about cable pulling? Well, a, a couple places. Uh, one, uh, you can call our technical service group at 800-435-0786, and you can go on the Greenlee website to uh, view the safety bulletins that we've provided for cable pulling and the instruction manuals for our cable pullers. Jim, thank you for taking time to be with us today. We appreciate the information you've shared. Well, thank you for having us. Uh, we certainly want to support the safe use of cable pullers and cable pulling equipment, and anything we can do to help in that endeavor is good for us and good for our customers. And thank you for joining us for today's Brain Bank Listen and Learn series. We'll see you next time.